नमस्ते आई एम सुषमा एंड सी इज माई योगा टीचर राशि आज हम लोग स्पाइन हेल्थ के लिए वॉल के सपोर्ट से सीक्वेंस करेंगे दिस इज माई फेवरेट सीक्वेंस एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बिकम योर फेवरेट सीक्वेंस इस सीक्वेंस के सहारे आप स्पाइन हेल्थ को अच्छा रख सकते हैं पैरों का भी हेल्थ अच्छा रख सकते हैं प्लस आप अपने पेट के भी हेल्थ को बहुत ही अच्छी तरीके से ऊपर की तरफ ले ऊपर की तरफ लेके जा सकते हैं चलिए हम वॉल के नज़दीक जाते हैं वॉल सीक्वेंस में आपको जाना कैसे है सबसे पहले आप साइडवेज टर्न हो करके काफ़ी पास पास में चले जाइए एंड देन फ्रॉम हियर यू स्लोली स्टार्ट मूविंग योर बोल द लेग्स अपवर्ड टूवर्ड्स द सीलिंग धीरे धीरे आप देखेंगे कि आप वॉल के नज़दीक चले गए हैं एंड देन विथ लिटिल सपोर्ट ऑफ योर एल्बो यू हैव टू शिफ्ट इन गुड नाउ ओपन योर बोथ द हैंड्स टू द साइड फेस लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द विपरीत कारिणी आसन दिस आसन इज नोन एज विपरीत कारिणी फ्रॉम योर किक योर हील फ्लेक्स द टोज द फर्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन एनी ऑफ द आसन टू स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन योर लेग एंड ब्लड सर्कुलेशन सो किक योर हील्स एंड फ्लेक्स द टोज डाउन गुड टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन यदि आप बहुत नज़दीक नहीं पहुँच पाते हैं तो यू कैन मूव यू कैन बी अवे फ्रॉम द वॉल यू कैन बी अवे फ्रॉम द वॉल लाइक यू मूव अवे एंड देन किक योर हील यू कैन स्टे हेयर बट स्टिल योर लेग विल वर्क टू थ्री फोर फाइव पॉइंटिंग द टोज फाइव फोर थ्री से 
simple cushion, small cushion, you can use it under your left leg or you can increase the height of the right leg and keep it this way. Three, four, good for the leg, good for the tummy, good for the spine. Four, five, six and seven. From here, bend your left knee. Left knee will bend. Flex the left foot. Get your right hand on the left knee and move down. Up jitna nikhe ja sakte. Again, you want to keep it tight. You can always use one clock. Three, four, five, six, seven. काफी बार ऐसा होता है कि आपके लेफ्ट शोल्डर ऊपर उठ जाते हैं बिकॉज द बॉडी इज नॉट रेडी टू रिलीज इट हियर देन यू नीड टू लिफ्ट योर राइट साइड ऑफ द बॉडी बैलेंस इट कीप द राइट लेफ्ट नी स्लाइटली हायर एंड बिकम बैलेंस इन द पॉस्चर नाउ इस पॉस्चर में आप ग्लूट के लिए कर रहे हैं स्पाइन के लिए कर रहे हैं टमी के लिए कर रहे हैं and also you are working on the hamstring if you are more flexible get your foot and straighten the knee softly bending of the knee is always allowed 2 3 4 keep it off the floor 5 6 and 7 inhale coming back to the center both the legs will go back to the center right leg moving back again flex the toes 1 2 3 4 5 extend the toes 5 4 3 2 1 while you are both the legs aapne right side kiya hai center pe hum upar vista konasana kar rahe hain the posture which you can do it in the sitting posture same posture you are doing in supine Sitting posture is this. Many times we are not able to sit straight and we lean down. So this will be the best way to practice Upa Vista Kon Asana, where the legs are moving apart. Check your foot is flexed and heels are kicked out. Now from here, shift to the left side. Left foot will go down. Right foot foot will come in the center. Get the head up on its side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the top leg down. Press your knees towards the wall. 
Use your palms to press it. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Have your breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. Round two. Expand as you inhale. Round two. Exhale. Expanding in the Join your feet together. This is close to Kavatuktasana. Get your heels slightly closer to your butt and then hug your both the knees. Press it downward. Massage your tummy. Stay here with normal breath. Now we'll shift to the twist. Open your both the hands to the side ways. Now start walking your feet towards the right side. Both the feet are closed. Move the feet. Move your feet right side. Keep your feet against the wall. The feet will shift to the floor against the wall. Feet will shift to the floor against the wall. Now you will find your both the knees are also closed. Use your right palm over the left knee. Get your left shoulder on the mat or on the floor and turn the head opposite side. Staying here again few deep breaths. Breathing in. Breathe out. Round two. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. from your walk in the center. Stretch your both the legs up. Stay there. When you are in this posture, when you are in a little while, when you are in a little while, the blood circulation from your leg, it moves down and reaches to the heart. Heart is your purification system. The blood will move towards the heart, become pure and again supply to whole body. So, this one asana, the Viparit Karani asana, releases the leg pain and also increases the purification of frequency in your body. So, I would suggest you, even in the evening from, when you come from your office, you can practice this, but not after the food. Start the Pavan Muktasana here, you can fold forward, now head towards the knee. The feet is against the wall. 
nose towards the knee, holding here for few breaths. Avad Muttasana. A posture which releases the vayu from the body is called Avad Muttasana. Inhale, drop the head down to the floor. Exhale and find the twist to the side. Opening your both the hands to the side. Move both the knees towards the left. Feet will walk against the wall till the floor. Turn the head opposite side. Move your left palm on the right knee. The elbow is down to the floor. You can keep your eyes closed and keep your breath relaxed. Since it is twist, do not hold the breath. Moving to the extension of your Nichiwana leg. The left leg is stretching out. Kick the heel. If you are not able to catch the toes, then you can catch your calf muscles. But keep your leg straight or gently bending the knee. That's it. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Open the right leg. Join your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Hold your left, Nichiwala leg, place it against the wall. Continue the stretch of your right leg. Five, six, seven, eight, for the spinal health, whether it is a sciatica pain, pain or the back pain or any kind of a leg pain which originates from the back and radiates to your leg. Inhale. Stretch the leg again up. Now this time you work on moving your right foot away from the wall, keeping your leg strong at the heel. Kick the heel, flex the toes. It will work on increasing the circulation in your legs to Three, four, five. Bend the right knee and place your right foot on the left knee. Now use your right palm to press the right knee towards the floor. Again, excellent for the sciatica pain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bending the left knee. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale. Now raise your left leg up, not against the wall, but hug with your arms, interlacing your fingers. Nine, ten, eleven. 12. Inhale, slowly come back to the center, exhale and we'll change the side. Move your left leg off the ground, off the wall. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Bend the knee, place your heel on the right thigh. Press the left knee using your left palm. You can pull your foot with the right to opposite direction. Press the knee and pull the foot. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Bend this knee now. Your right leg. Walk the foot against the wall. Take a minute. You 
are working on the spinal head. The spine is attached to the lower part of the body that is leg. If you have a back pain or any kind of pain in your spine, we need to work on the hamstring. The moment you start working on the hamstring, the pressure or the strain which we are taking to the spine because of the inflexibility of the leg, it reduces. And this is the best conducive way to start with the supine posture, with the wall, working for the leg, spine at the same time, your tummy. Now from your inhale, coming back to the center, exhale and release. Relax. You can stay here for more longer time or if you have a time, otherwise you can move to Shavasana. Push yourself away from the wall. Relax the leg. Keep your hands away from the body. Toes flopping with the sideways. Stay there for seven minutes. Namaskara. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. God bless you all.